Okay, hey everyone, Jason here. So, I'm gonna answer a question today that comes up quite often, and the question is, what type of boat should I build? And I'm not talking about, you know, the, the design of the boat, you know, whether it's a kayak or a canoe or a skiff or a sailboat. I'm talking about, you know, what building method. So, usually when people start off with the idea that they want to build their own boat or want to become a boat builder, they start researching the different building methods and you know they wonder you know what which way should i go you know what's the easiest building method that i should choose now you know it's a good question definitely and you should look at your your own skill set but if you're planning on building you know like one or two boats in your lifetime really you should be looking at first what type of boat do you want so you know or do you want a canoe are you do you live somewhere where a canoe it makes more sense than a kayak or do you want a kayak you know is you plan to you know go fishing all the time or to you know sail small inland lakes or you know what what do you want and figure out you know that boat so first choose what type of boat suits your own personal needs first okay then after that start looking at the designs available within that you know segment of you know the market so so basically th there's a lot of different kit companies out there so if you're not incredibly technically minded and you, you think that the best solution is to start off with a kit boat there are a lot of good kit companies out there so within the canoe and kayak industry uh, you know Chesapeake Light Craft, Bear Mountain Boats, Gilmont Kayak um, th th these are all really good reputable companies and they've got great designs that you can choose from. So within those companies they have you know skin on frame designs, cedar strip designs and you know for example this one I'm building next to me it's a hybrid where it's stitch and glue on the bottom and it's going to be cedar strip on top. So there's a lot a lot to take in, a lot to, you know, considerations to make, but when you're trying to decide what type of boat you should start with, always start off with what you want, okay? Because there are really good companies that you can contact out there that can give you kits that are designed for people with little to no experience at all, all right? And they're good, they're good kits. So you'll get all of the, all of the materials, you'll get instructions, you could get builder's plans, you know, everything that you need to work off of. And, these kits are created for people with no experience. Um, this is my first kit that I've ever built. I started off milling my own strips to build cedar strippers. Uh, you know, I had quite an extensive woodworking background to start with, uh, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend going that route <laughs> immediately, but people do. So yeah, so start off, you know, what boat should I build? The first question is, what boat do I want? Okay, decide that, then look at what designs, and then, you know, the aesthetics. Do you like the, you know, the plywood look of a stitching glue haul? Do you want a cedar strip look? You know, knowing these things will help you get a better boat suited for you. You know, it could take a couple weeks to build a boat, or it could take a year or two. So, you know, really, when you're done the building process, it might be the last boat you ever want to build. So you want to make sure that you end up with the boat that is absolutely suited for your needs, okay? Once you know that, you'll be able to find something out there to help you along, okay? So I'm going to put a few links at the end of this video, and yeah, hopefully it'll just help you, you know, look around and see what's available.